Hi guys, and welcome to a little deck profile that I've made um, of, a deck, of a deck which is quite interesting. Um, Gargo guys, now some of you may think that they are quite a rubbish deck. I think they are actually really, really, really good because they they are very versatile and. Um, they really uh, have a lot of good consistency and that mixes well with the versatility you know to create a really really good strong deck in my opinion so um, I would do a live duel right now but for some reason my um, my, my Yu-Gi-Oh Pro is really messing up at the moment it keeps on um, crashing all the time when I try to record and play a game uh, whilst recording so I've had to record a replay and um, I'll show you that quickly now. I'll do some pauses and sort of talk about what's going on whilst that's happening. Now, I've sort of, so I start off with an average hand. Um, I go ahead and just set the Mystic Tomato because I'm not. I, I don't think really there's much point in setting Mirror Force or anything like that. I, I believe from looking through his deck, he's playing some sort of variation of. Um, of ninjas, but a Mist Valley uh, version, which was rather interesting. Actually, I'd never actually come across this before, but it looked it looks really interesting. So he goes in and he he does you know the obvious Hanzo, searches for ninjutsu art, sets it, and then taxi into my Mystic Tomato. I go and get Gar Gar Girl, which will allow me to do a pretty cool play next turn. Um, before I do anything, I go ahead and straight away go go about his face down. He goes ninjutsu art for whatever reason I'm not sure, but I don't know why. But I go straight into Gargoyle Magician, make level eight, make two level eights, go to Fell Grand, and attack. He plays mirror, obviously. Chain Fell Grand because he's ridiculous. Smack him for 28. Set mirror force and duality to to uh, bluff him. Uh, he MSTs. He takes the bluff, which I was pretty happy about. Just sets and ends. I draw. I was now here. I was really tempted to go card cardy, but I to get some more cards. But I really didn't want to give him another turn to you know give him some more um, card advantage. So I just just decided I'll just go for the card cardy if I really need to. I go ahead and smack into it just in case he's that um, that face down is something threatening. Uh, smack him for fifteen. He draws into Hanzo again, which is a pretty good draw. Uh, he gets another ninja to art. He sets that, he attacks, I don't know why I didn't play Mirror Force there, was, it's kind of um, 1 o'clock in the morning so I'm a bit tired. Um, I just set 7 tools here, I smack, smack Hanzo and then smack him for another 15, 400 points off a cowboy, but oh well. Um, now he just sets Birdman and he's just sort of a bit, okay well I can't make up from this. I play Caesar, uses effect. Going to my stroke, I don't know why I played my stroke, I just wanted to finish the game to be honest. And I just attacked directly for game, so that was pretty cool. Um, I think his deck was really interesting. I I don't think it really took off properly, I don't think he, he managed to uh, get off with many things. I think I had a really good hand, and you know, he just couldn't get over Felgrand because Felgrand's really good. But um, it was an interesting game. Uh, Obviously, I, I didn't get to show the whole of the um, well, the other possibilities of this deck, but maybe I might do a second video on um, on what, what this deck does. I'll, I'll do a replay which sort of shows some more combos of it. But um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe for more uh, openings, uh, Dev Pro videos, Julian Network, you name it. All right, see you guys. Bye.